positive possessions, a turnover on their first possession, not going to help them, and then controlling tempo as Akron looking to get up and down the floor here early. Nice pass inside to Brewer. Yeah, it's a real good look, wasn't it, from Jordan Dawson to Lanasia Brewer. as Jim Hampton doing a good job of being more of an orchestrator at the offensive end. You see her there with the step-in jump shot. Dawson's going to pull it and knock that out. Jordan Dawson connecting. The throwing over the top, and when you stretch the floor like that, you've got to be able to defend in the inside. Bowling Green not able to do so early on as the Zips have been able to find Brewer in the inside, three of four from the floor. Kendall Miller's on the floor now. The ball rotation found Jordan Dawson, who drains the deep three. Well, she has been locked. Miller on the step through, left it short. Offensive board, not able to fall. Dawson will stick with it. And that is uh, going to be what. Go off that inbound. That's a real nice looking inbound pass that Jordan Dawson converted with her left hand. One of their, uh, their freshmen. He's getting a lot of playing time. We said doing a real nice job, averaging better than nine uh, points per game with almost three assists per game. One of the best in the business, Jackie, off the bounce and on that pull-up J is Jordan Dawson. Well, what a tremendous decision. You saw the off the ball screen there, split the double team and attacked, found a pocket, and got a shot. Jordan Dawson playing really good basketball as Akron starts off this max stretch. Dawson to give the, the Akron Zips the... Katie Hempfling comes from... Ottawa Glandorf, obviously great basketball tradition up there in Northwest Little Ohio. school, huh? <laughs> and just uh, continues to, again, do a lot of different. Clock at 7, Lewis, deep triple, nope, off the side of the iron. They talk about that at the defensive end, but it's so true at the offensive end, too. What is your go-to and who is your go-to? Lanasia Brewer with the rejection of uh, Jocelyn Tate and then going to the hole for the Zips. Jordan Dawson, very good about this basketball team. So I think as we mentioned a little bit earlier about, um, it feels like she's got components necessary <laughs> like that. Now there's a Jordan Dawson can pass the basketball, folks. Shot clock at four, red alert time. Now Brewer will hoist. And hit that trip. Decision there by Brewer. Well, the Zips doubling Katie Hempfling down low. Uh, she ultimately uh... dribble. It'll be interesting to see how Akron can close this out. A couple of Kendall Miller and Jordan Dawson really, I think, taking some deep breaths here. See if they can't regroup. And how about that? Bass stepping out on the floor to play the D and then even jumped out on the switch against Hempfling. Well, we talked about Akron's need to control. Bass kept the possession alive. Dawson is going to get to the free throw line. I tell you, Jackie, to me, she off the bounce with that as quick an elevation as you'll find in the MAC women's game is uh, off the bounce and boom, elevate to get that shot off. Well, she's scoring it more consistently from that from that jump shot, and that's where you know it has really made her more effective. We know what she can do. You talked about her. You know, she's so physically strong and her ability off the 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 drive to be able to take contact and get to the rim but you know you said it Michael when she's able to just stop on a dime and elevate and, and connect that's just a whole different dimension now to her game that makes her that much more explosive. Well, Akron's leading point producer at just a shade under 16 a game the senior. She's got 12 and looking for 13 and how about this? <laughs> How about the stat line in the first half for Jordan Dawson, Jackie? 13 points, 7 boards, 5 assists. You know, welcome to the MAC, right? You yeah. Know, you start to put yourself at that top echelon. Nice pass. Well, Jordan Dawson went over the top to Reagan Bass. And the Hempfling feeling it, but uh, missed everything on that deep three. Get it to the rim once again for uh, Bowling Green was Amy Velasco. Didn't finish. Dawson, touchdown pass to Lanasia Brewer who got the quick deuce. Yeah, nice pass, but an even better job by Brett on the take. She had it ripped away. Turnover Bowling Green. Please down to three. Corcoran to unload. Got it. She's tripled out of that deep left corner. Yeah, 
can tell that she's very comfortable from there. And there's a quick three right there by Sharp. Early in the shot clock, look at Jordan Dawson for that uh, personal foul. And Lane Farrell will split the pair. Look at Jordan Dawson. Another big-time offensive rebound for Dawson. Well, averaging about 15 minutes a game. Oh, that completely open look at a jumper for Nyla Hampton. She couldn't uh, She couldn't put it down. Sessions. Yeah. This is a 7-0 Akron run, by the way, since, you know, uh, Bowling Green had tied it up. What a tremendous Make a 9 pass. run. Tremendous pass by Dawson leading. All right, with seven, Akron's got to get started here. Can't turn it over now. Dawson with two. Dawson to the hole. Got it off the window. Jordan Dawson to beat that third quarter buzzer is Akron after being tied. If we go to the fourth. Well, I think what we're seeing, too, is, you know, Robin Fralick has talked about some of the youth of her team and, you know, that movement. They're scrappy. They're playing. And this will be interesting to see. Are we going to see Jordan Dawson, that, that senior leadership, really take over? and close out the basketball game. Well, there's a, part, there's a quick answer for you. Lead to this Falcons team and keeps her feet moving, creates an opportunity there as too many zips got caught just watching the basketball. Dawson splitting defenders. Wouldn't stay in the hole. Dawson offensive board will get to the free throw line for the Akron Zips. No, tremendous effort here. Misses, stays with it, tries to fight through. We'll see here, probably a little bit more contact on the first play than the second, but Jordan Dawson, tremendous effort there at the rim. We said it as the period started that, you know, the senior was going to really need to step up and make plays, and that's exactly what she's been able to do. Dawson's got 20 this afternoon, coming off uh, she's averaged 24 points per game in the two MAC games. And I tell you, her brother as well on the men's side has Michael? really been playing well, coming in Very off much. the bench and giving John Gross and the Akron men's team a really a solid burst at both ends of the floor. Side, but a little bit of an errant pass. Akron's got to do a better job of connecting and really getting her a basketball where she can catch and score it. But a nice out-of-bounds play there gets Dawson the a once touch you, aggressed, but you know the other thing that makes that such a challenging shot is just not it's not just the timing of that catch gather and finish but angle to the rim lewis real good pass hampton a reverse didn't get it to fall turns it over zips will put it in the hands of jordan dawson all the way to the rim and got that to fall with the left hand Dawson's got 24 on the day. No. Yeah, showing her athleticism, big basket there, but uh, we're at a juncture where Bowling Green cannot just trade baskets. The defensive end, to your point, a lot of hands, yeah. a lot of pressure on the ball, just committed too much contact illegally while guarding the basketball, and now Akron will be shooting the rest of the way as well. And, again, this is where we start to get in. Still a lot of time left, but, you know, Bowling Green's not in a position where they can just trade two for twos at both ends of the floor. Jordan Dawson will connect on a pair from the line, give her 26 now on the day, and again, iron. Kendall Miller with a make. Jordan Dawson, as you see at the top of your screen, over into the, uh, the scores table. Nice job there by Katie Hempfling to help her up as well, but great effort here by Dawson, just... Eric Moss running the uh, scoreboard over there. Do you have a quick first step to get out of the way? I think he did a nice job of softening the fall. It's going to be an over and back. Good effort, though, by Hempfling. Yep. Jordan Dawson had ripped it away. Hempfling picked it up and then threw it into the backcourt. So turnover Bowling Green. 